Good morning, guys. I am Justin Homestead Dad, and we used to do these live streams on a pretty regular basis, but things got busy, got away from it, and now I'm milking a little bit later, so maybe more people will be available again. So I figured we'd give it a shot, see how it goes, see if people are interested again. If not, it's a personal affront. I'll just say it wasn't meant to be right now. But we're going to give it a shot anyway. I'm uh, grabbing the feed for Prudence. Here's your feed bucket. Close this up. And we'll go uh, we'll get set up for milking. Hey, Bandana Grandma, how you doing? Good to see you. So let's see if Prudence wants to be on live stream this morning. What do you think, ma'am? You interested? She likes her food. Watch out. Hey, okay, come on, watch out. I don't need you to have but head but me. Woo! Good girl. How are you doing this morning, bandana grandma? I'm glad you guys had so much fun at the uh Homesteaders of America conference. That looked like a blast. It looks like you guys had a great time. It looks like you had a great time with um, with your, you know, selling of your mittens and stuff. Man, that's awesome. I, I still want to get me a pair, but I gotta save up a couple shekels. I bought some other mittens last year. So, you guys can see, I've got one rope here and I've got one rope over here. You don't like my hand over top of your head, I get it. And then she's just got her chain necklace and that keeps her in. I'm gonna go grab the, um, so I've got two other buckets. I've got the bucket that I'm looking into and you can see I'm not milking for people today because I've got the plastic milk bucket, which is a five gallon bucket. If I was keeping it for people, I'd be using a stainless steel uh, bucket. And then this blue bucket here has all of my uh, cleaning supplies. So I've got like, Let's see if we can get this set up while we're doing this. It's been a while since I've done this. Let's see if I remember. I have, kind of how I do it is I've got a brush and I just kind of brush her off. And I, I'm more, um, what's the word? I'm more specific about it when I'm milking for people, because then you really don't want to get anything dropping into it. And then I've just got, this is just a spray bottle filled with soapy water, a little rag. Go ahead and right off. Seven degrees off cool. How you been? Tom Jones. It has been a while. I'm glad you love the conference, bandana grandma. Ooh, where am I going? Right? Um, I do hope I can go next year. We'll have to see. Um, I'm gl well, I'm glad it was cold for you because it probably helped mitten sales, right? Um, you hear the chickens in the background and all they're doing is um, looking for grain that Prudence dropped. So, I got two rags. One is cleaner than the other. And then I get to milking. So, uh, let's see if I can get the this in here a little bit so you guys can see some milking. Let's see if I can do it even one better. Okay, I'm gonna let's see if we can do this. I'm gonna switch the camera around. Kind of sort of. Are we back? It says we're back. Are we back? I hope my connection's not terrible. So this is the Homestead Dad cam. You get my perspective on milking. Although normally my perspective on milking is more like this. I just put my head into her side and close my eyes and milk. So I'd be like this and then close your eyes. Anyway, so that's how it looks when I milk. Let's put this back over here. Let's see if I can get it. So maybe you guys can see some of the chickens walking around. You don't need to see my mug. Here, they're back over here too. Let's go over there. 
<clears throat> so, how have you guys been? Is this a good time for you guys? Now, remember we used to do this back in the day, back before summer started and the flies came out. And... Man, was that a pain in the bum bump kiss. I had to get start getting up early. And actually, I've enjoyed getting up early because now, well, obviously today's not early, but what I've been doing is I'll get up early, I'll milk, and then I'll go exercise for a little bit. Because I have a goal, to lose some weight. So, I'm working on it. What are your guys' goals for today? I am working on, I need to exercise today. So, I think I've mentioned this to some of you guys. If you guys are members of the Facebook group, the Homestead Dad Facebook group, you know that we, uh, my wife and I use Airbnb. Hey, 1870s Homestead, how are you guys? Um, I used Airbnb. Cleaning up the back porch is a good thing. Is it raining all day there? It rained this this evening, or it rained overnight. I don't know if it's supposed to rain all day here. Um, I don't know what else gonna say. Ah, our hodgepodge homestead. John's out hunting, probably drinking a cup of coffee. Sweet. I've got to use the crock pot more. You know, we've got a crock pot and we have an instant pot, but I don't use either of them enough. Working now, hunting later. Good job. Got us a coffee. I'm going to have to give him a hard time about that later. You're about to make a coffee. <clears throat> yeah, Heather, what is it in the crock pot? Good question. Good question indeed, Rachel. Or Todd. I'm guessing it's Rachel. Keto-ish, so crockpot meals are helping me simplify. Ooh, I like that. So what are you doing keto in the uh, crockpot? Crack chicken. Well, you know crack is illegal. You ain't supposed to be doing crack. That's not good for your head. You know what I haven't done a lot of my videos lately? Is sing. We used to sing all the time on live streams. I'm not that goofy on the regular ones. Oh yeah. Come on over and get some, Rachel. We'll get you in the herd chair. You can get milk anytime you want. Ooh, I saw chicken breast, cream cheese, ranch dressing packets. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. I like that. I should bring you in closer. Rachel, you, I think you may have missed. Let's do one more Homestead Dad view of milking. Just, just to get Rachel a little bit thirstier. There we go. Now, now everybody's wanting some milk. How far is it from you guys, Rachel, to Ann Arbor? Hey, barn karaoke, I am all about it. Hit, hit me up with a request and we'll see what I can do. Da -da 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 -da. <clears throat> yeah, our hodgepodge homestead is going to give some milk a try. Newsies, now you're talking my language. Which one? That's my cigar, you'll steal another. Hey bummers, we got work to do. Since when did you become me mother? I'll quit your bowling. Hey, who asked you? Try Bottle Alley or the harbor. Try Central Park, it's guaranteed. Try any bank or bum or barber. They almost all knows how to read. I smell funny, you smell foul. Met this girl last night. Something, something, pass the towel. For a buck I might. We lead a fine life. 
Carrying the banner through it all. A mighty fine life. <laughs> carrying the banner tough and tall. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna stop now. I saw some comments on this. 45 minutes. Well, maybe we could meet in Ann Arbor if you had some reason to come up there anyway. I've got to see uh, the musical play. I love the movie. I can pretty much sing the entire thing. Uh, my brother and I used to listen to the CD all the time. So, it's a good one. Christian Bale needs to acknowledge his roots of Newsies. It's a good one. I'd love to see a remake of a Newsies. So yeah, oop. Chickens, we got roosters chasing each other. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe after I lose a couple more pounds, Becca, then I'll pull out the backflip. Yeah, it, it's a good movie. Boom, boom. Open the gates and seize the day. Don't be afraid and don't delay. Nothing can break us, no one can make us give our rights away. Arise and seize the others. Now is the time to milk the cow. Now is the time to milk the cow. Get up early and show us how. Get up early and show us how. Milk is so great. We'll eat it late. Let us milk this cow. Arise and milk the cow. Woo! Original song stylings by Homestead Dad. So you guys, I don't know if you can tell, her udders are back to good. Um, let's see if I can get you down in here. So this was the one that had mastitis in it. Um, but she's good now. So it's back to have smaller, you can see have smaller teats, udders, um, or teats. So I kind of have to strip them out, whereas these front ones, I can just trap the milk in and squeeze it out. So now this one's pretty much empty. This one still has a lot in, so I'll switch this hand from the front to the back, and I pretty much end up milking three udders with my right hand, and that front driver's, or the front passenger side one with my left hand the entire time. The back udders don't have much. I thought I had dried them off a while back, but I didn't. Um, so there's just a little bit in them, and because of the whole mastitis scare a while back, uh, I just milk out a little bit. You can see there's not much milk in her udder here. Um, I don't know if you can tell. Like this udder now is pretty empty. It had been out to here. Now it's empty. This one's pretty empty. And these back ones, see like it's pretty much, that's it. It's done. I could get a couple squirts of it. Now we'll go to the passenger side on the back. I don't know if you guys can see that. I've been getting probably just over two gallons lately, um, which is way down from her peak. I had reduced her milk because I was getting like still getting four gallons of milk a day and I didn't need that much. So I reduced her down to two and a half. Well, now she's down to two, and I'm thinking, oh no, um, I don't, you know, want her to go any lower. But we're closing in on she's about 11 months on this lactation, maybe a little bit shy of that. So, and the bull that I um, put a deposit on, I think he may have gotten pink eye. He had something going on with his eyes, so he hasn't come here yet, but I need him to so he can, he can breed her. I think I missed a couple comments. Let me move this back out so I can see better, respond better. Um, thank you very much for the, uh, the nice comment, Bandana gram Grandma. 18 uh Rachel, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Uh, Tom, I am really sorry to hear that. That is not fun at all. That's, that's, 
Any death on the homestead stinks. Um, but man, when you've got a, a cow, I mean, cows live longer, they last longer, um, you know, they provide a lot on the homestead. Um, I'm out here every day with her, so, you know, we've got our bond. It's, it is funny, so, like, when I have other people milk, she, um, she's a, kind of a brat for them, but for me, she sits here. In fact, yesterday, I forgot to tie her up. She just stood there um, until I was done. So, kind of have that, you know, yeah, they, they can become, you know, homestead members. So, that is a big old bummer, not to mention the fact that, you know, it's a large financial um, loss for the farm. Oh, man, I'm sorry, buddy. So, do you know, I mean, was she older, or did something happen? That's, the, that's one of the biggest things, whenever, whenever something dies here, I want to know how it happened. Um, I'll just show you guys quick. So, she, um, three of her udders are empty. I've just got this front driver's side that, um, is, um, or front passenger side that's still got no. Um, bandana grandma, are you asking me? Yes, I will be there. Um, I'm actually trying to help them with, uh, finding some sponsors and some advertisers and stuff like that. Um, they are so much fun. Are you going to go, Bandana Grandma? I don't know if you're still around, Tom, but I was just wondering if you knew what happened. <laughs> how she died. And then, uh, are you have any plans to get another cow? Yeah, our hodgepodge homestead will be there. I know Lisa from um, Lisa and Phil from Sutton Day, Sutton's Days are going to be there. Um, yeah, it's a hike from Maryland. I believe probably 12 hours by car. If you don't stop, you don't have a bunch of kids that need to stop to go pee every hour and a half. Twice. I was looking at buses again last night. I want a bus. So Mike Pratt, uh, his his mom and dad, or his dad and. Um, his dad was in town this past weekend, and he was talking about how they were going to stay in their camper. Um, and they loved having the camper around because um, they could use it kind of like as a, an Airbnb, a guest bedroom for, you know, for people. Um, I hear you, Bandana Grandma. I'm actually like, get one of those things that like, people, like, what are they? catheters that people wear to um, football games so that they don't have to go to the bathroom. It just warms up their leg. No thanks. Um, but for a drive, I'd, I'd consider it. Um, so it got me thinking that, you know, okay, this bus idea that I have could be more than just a place for us to get from point A to point B um, without having to stop so much, without having to get hotels. Um, it could also be a um, like a guest a guest suite when people get here. I mean, the way that I would build it, it would be thank you for the kisses, Miss. Pretty loves to give kisses after a milk. Um, it could be like a guest suite for people to come over. <laughs> since we would build it to sleep eight people, um, you know, it would. We could have a big old family come over and visit if we wanted to. So, I'm back on that again. We'll see what happens. Um, um, I'm talking about taking a, a turning a bus into a motorhome or into a camper. Like a yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Hey, Becca, you never know what we're gonna talk about on the uh, morning milk stream. Ooh, I like that. Maybe we'll call it the morning milk stream with Homestead Dad. Your wake-up call with Homestead Dad live milk stream. <laughs> kind of like it. Um, so, yeah. So that's my thought. I've I've been wanting to do that. Turn a bus into a, an RV. I don't know, five, six, seven years. 
So we'll see if it happens. There's actually right now, I think, a couple people on Facebook Marketplace. Hold on, I'm gonna set you guys down for a second. On Facebook Marketplace that um, are selling buses and they've dropped the price in the last, in the last few months. I think because they don't wanna to have to keep it over winter and store it and some places don't have places to store, you know, campers and stuff. Well, I got lots of property. I can park it wherever I want. So that wouldn't be a problem for me. Um, so I'm thinking about it. If I can find one for a super good deal and I don't know. I, I really don't have the money to just be spending on a bus right now. But here, instead of you guys looking at my mug, let's do this. Hello, piggies. Piggy's fighting over milk. Look at the piggies that are in my pants. So the pigs, if they know that they can't get into that bucket, they'll just dive right underneath the milk stream like this and hope they get milk. And a lot of times it just splashes off of them and like all over me. Hooray. Let's, here, let's do this. We'll switch you guys around again. Can you guys tell it's been a little bit wet here? That's been a lot wet here. So. Okay guys, well that's the end of the, the live milk stream for today. Yes, lots of bacon seeds. Um, so that was just their pig ration. I'm gonna um, give them some pumpkins instead of corn today. So anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys had a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, we'll maybe try to make a regular thing out of it. I'll maybe pick a regular morning that'll work. Probably like Monday or Wednesday. So we'll see if we can figure something out. I enjoy hanging out with you guys and singing and just being goofy. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. We will see you guys very soon. Have a good one.